Hello, I'm Rajesh Srivastava. Welcome to episode 6 in the series titled The New Rules of Business. Let's begin this conversation talking about your employees. Despite your enterprise giving your employees good salary, perks and benefits, what do you find? That your employees are not motivated enough to work. You have to be after them to make them work. This saddens you. But take solace in the fact of a research done by Gallup's during the year 2011 and 2012. What did it discover? In India, merely 9% of employees are engaged, 60% people are not engaged and a woofing 31% are disengaged with the job. Yes, this statistics supports what's happening in your organization, but it is of little solace to you. And the question that is haunting you is, what should you do to make sure a larger proportion of people are engaged in your enterprise? Let me introduce to you Maslow's hierarchy of needs. It states that every one of us have five hierarchy of needs, starting at the base with physiological needs, safety needs, love and belonging, esteem and self-actualization. So do you see the problem? Your enterprise is merely satisfying the physiological needs, but you expect your employees to be self-actualized. Remember, when your enterprise does not satisfy the intervening three hierarchy of needs, your employees will not show any overt sign of discomfort, but internally they will be anxious, tense and scared. In short, stressed out. Result. Instead of focusing on the job they have to do, they will focus on their narrow self-interest and the loser will be your organization. So what should you do? Make sure that the next three intervening hierarchies of needs are also satisfied. Safety. Make sure that you provide adequate job security to your employees. Next, love and belonging and esteem can be clubbed together. To achieve satisfaction, what should you do? Just make sure that trust is inculcated in your organization. The moment trust reigns supreme, these two needs can be adequately satisfied. There are several ways you could do it. I would recommend the following. First, make sure that there is no absence of fear in your organizations and people without fear work. Next, provide autonomy to your employees. Remember, when you trust people to do a job, they would respond by being more trustworthy. Next. Have a fair and transparent system in your organization. Next, have clear communication among your employees. And lastly, remember to honor every promise that your organization makes. I see a sense of relief on your face, but there is also a doubt. Won't some people misuse a system like this? Of course, some would. So what should you do? Remember to follow this maxim, trust but verify. This means that in your organization, trust everybody, but create a system to identify people who are untrustworthy. And the moment the system identifies these people, take swift action to remove them from your organization. And now for the good news. Empirical evidence suggests that only 5% of people in an organization are non-trustworthy. 95% deserve to be trusted. So should you design your system for 5% or for 95%? Well, I seem to have got you on my side, but a question may be lurking at the back of your mind. Have I, during the course of my corporate career, pursued this strategy which I have so passionately recommended to you? Indeed I have. When I was president of JK Helen Curtis, we were having a board meeting. For that, I had switched off my mobile phone. When I switched it on post the meeting, I had a message waiting for me informing me that one of our colleagues had met with an accident. Although she was out of danger, but she was admitted in the hospital. While returning back to the office, I decided to pay her a visit. Upon entering the hospital, I requested to meet the doctor. The doctor came and met me and I introduced myself saying, I am Rajesh Shrivastava. The moment she heard my name, a smile lit up her face. And she said, oh, so you are Rajesh Shrivastava. I said, indeed I am. And then she said, your employee, before she went off to sleep, she only said one word, no matter how late it is, my sir will come and see me. I was so happy 
that I had lived up to the trust of my employees. I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I did bringing it to you. Do remember to subscribe to our channel and do not forget to share it with your friends. Your friends too will enjoy the video as much as you did. Thank you.